Okay, so we now go to the analysis of indeterminate structures. Okay, so what is an indeterminate structure? Okay, as previously discussed during our first meeting, an indeterminate structure is a structure in which their unknown support reactions cannot be solved by using mainly the three equations of equilibrium. Okay, so in our previous topics, we focused on structures that are determinate. Okay, so beams, trusses, frames that are determinate in which the support reactions can be solved by using the three equations of equilibrium. In the previous semesters, we have two subjects, no? Theory 1 and Theory 2, in which in Theory 1, we are dealing more on the determinate structures and in Theory 2, we focused on the indeterminate structures. Now, in the new curriculum, Murgi ipo na ni siyang duha. Kagi himo naman pong four years ang engineering. So, maonang muragi pang compressed, no? Okay. So, maonang, there are topics that are not discussed anymore. So, uh, I have chosen only the most important topics that is very use, usable, that is usable in the analysis of um, buildings and other structures. Okay, so we have four methods in the analysis of indeterminate structures. We have one, two, three, four. Okay, we have four method of analysis. Okay, the slope deflection method. The moment distribution method and the matrix or the stiffness method of analysis. Okay, now for the force method of analysis, this can be applied to beams frames and trusses okay this one also can be applied to beams and frames but not with trusses and the moment distribution method with beams and frames okay so this one for all types of structures okay So, since you have a limited time, so we will use only method of force method of analysis for trusses and these two methods for beams and frames. Okay, but this moment distribution is easy to use, no, and convenient to use. Okay, now this matrix and stiffness analysis is discussed when you have your uh, master's degree no? in structural analysis. What naman tayo time? Okay.